most of us get in the market to buy a home only if we plan to live in it. But real estate can also be a good investment if you do it right. Real estate expert TJ Larson joins us to tell us more about real estate as an investment. TJ, good to see you. Good to see you. Where do you begin if you think you'd like to get in the game? What's the first thing you need to do? Figure out how much you can afford to spend? Where do you start? Well, when I'm looking for investment property or I'm representing clients for investment property, I'm looking at the condition of the home. And this is going to speak to the value of that home. And there's a couple of things. Number one, what condition is it in right now? What things are in need of immediate repair? What things immediately need improvement? So I'm going to take a look at those. I'm going to put those towards my budget. But I also want to be very cognizant of what are long-term items that need to be repaired or improved. Uh, big items, my roof. Is it towards the end of its useful life? Is it leaking? That could be a five, six thousand dollar repair. Um, mechanicals, HVAC, your water heater, those have about a 15 year lifespan. Are those going to be things that are soon are coming up and need to be repaired as well? So obviously you want to look for a roof that's already in good shape if you're not prepared to spend the money on this, if it's just investment property. Absolutely, yeah, because yeah, all those things add up onto what you're going to have to spend. Okay, also you say consider the style of the home. Do you mean it, whether it appeals to a, a lot of people? Because if it is just an investment property, you're going to flip it, you're going to turn it at some point. You want something that kind of speaks to a lot of people, I right? I think two ways. I, want to th I think that you want to look to please the broader market. You don't want to find something that's just crazy for the market that you're looking in, but also let's look at that particular particular neighborhood. If you're looking at a neighborhood that has, let's say, ranch homes, and everything's a ranch and there's one split level home in that neighborhood, I don't think you want to have that home. A conservative neighborhood with primarily traditional homes, let's not go ultra modern on that. Now, I'm not saying you need to be the same as every one of your neighbors, but let's also not be the odd man out. Okay, that's a very good point. You also say, TJ, buy it right on the front end. What does that mean? I work with a lot of developers and a lot of home builders, and they all say the same thing. If I don't do well on the land, meaning I I don't buy the land at the right price going in, I have a very difficult time realizing an investment or good investment on the back end. It's the same for individual homeowners who are buying homes. You've got to pay the right price. Now, good homes are going to trade at normal market value. You don't have to steal the home, but you can't overpay for it either. How important is it to check out like the Homeowners Association, for example? I mean, should you look into those kinds of things if you're looking for an investment property? You should. Uh, also, condo and townhome developments, this is really where you're going to want to look at that homeowners association. You're going to look at a few different things. How are the dues over there? Are they extremely high dues? That could impact you negatively. How are their reserves? Are people paying into the budget so that they have enough money? Is the homeowners association taking care of the buildings? Are they taking care of the grounds? All of those things are going to translate into long-term value. And also, researching the trends. Tell us more about what you mean about that. You know, so often I see real estate agents go back six months to see where the values are, but I like to go back farther than that. With my clients, typically I'm going back about three years. Now, we all know that real estate prices have come down over the last couple of years. So if you see that the price in the last two years has come down 15%, that might not be a red flag necessarily, but you don't want to see the values came down 50% in that neighborhood, or at the very least, you want to identify why did that happen. So look a little bit farther out, look into more history. It seems almost to me like now's a good time to buy only because you've taken me on these tours of different mm -hmm. neighborhoods throughout Charlotte and I can't believe some of what you can get for the price and I think man if I had the cash I would I would buy this as an investment property. You know it's funny when the market was the absolute height and people were paying astronomic prices for properties they said it's the best time in the world to invest. Well now we've got ridiculously low values on homes. The, the rates to borrow money are lower than we've ever seen before. I believe that now is the time that we should be sharpening our skills and looking for investment property. It makes sense to me. Yeah. He's the man really. Go see TJ. You can learn more by going to his website MyTownHome.com. Again, it's MyTownHome.com. TJ Larson, always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming in today.